Happy Monday. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your First Defense Forecast, and we've got a lot of stuff to talk about about this impending winter storm. So, first of all, the overall conditions through the afternoon are going to get worse as the widespread snow will start to continue uh, from west to east today. And uh, the big deal is going to be heavy snow with the storm system that's passing on through, but we will mix some sleet and freezing rain into this the further south and east you go. So, that is why the snow totals will be lower there because there'll be more mixing going on there. We'll show you the projected snowfall totals uh, here in just a minute. And and uh, in terms of the um, uh, lake effect, we will add some lake effect overnight tonight and then early Tuesday morning as the winds shift across the lake, bringing some lake effect in here. And heavy snow totals are definitely likely and slick spots where you do see the ice. And we'll also show you the projected ice. Uh, accumulations here in just a minute. So first of all, the National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning. That's all these counties shaded in uh, pink. That goes all the way until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for Western New York, 1 p.m. for Erie and Crawford counties in Pennsylvania. And there's also a uh, winter weather advisory for Warren County, PA. That goes until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that basically means a uh, big uh, winter storm threat is on the way. So in terms of the weather impacts here, it's mainly going to be snow and cold. Temperatures way below average for this time of the year we should be near 50 this time of the year and temperatures are nowhere near that uh, as they have been for the past couple of days wind will be a little bit of an issue and wind chill is going to be a problem going into wednesday morning we're forecasting most areas will see uh, teens as low temperatures tuesday night going into wednesday morning so that could have some wind chill values into the single digits in some spots Mm. Here we go with Future Scan, newest run of the in-house model. You can see this darker blue starts to indicate the heavier amounts of snowfall. It will uptick in intensity as we go throughout the day. This purple area you see right down here is where we're going to see that sleet and freezing rain. So right down in here, down near the state line in the northwestern uh, Pennsylvania, that is where you'll see the more sleet and freezing rain, so the lower snow totals there. The widespread snow tapers off west to east as we go tonight. And then notice the wind direction coming directly off the lake. It will generate a few bands of lake effect snow. I don't think the lake effect will be all that heavy, but we could add on a couple inches of lake effect on top of what we already are expecting. So projected snowfall totals going all the way through tomorrow, about six to eight inches across the lower elevations, three to six and two to four further south and east should go again because of the uh, ice that's going to pile up there. About seven to nine inches on the highest hills where you see the lake effect on the highest hills maybe some totals maybe upwards of 10 inches but again always focus on this lower number not the higher number and uh, once you rise up into the boston hills in wyoming county maybe upwards of a foot there and then uh, in northwest pa about six to eight and four to eight inches down there in terms of the ice accumulation again you can see the ice is going to be confined eastern southern tier down in the northwestern pa about a tenth of an inch of ice accumulation that's not big deal type of ice but it will cause some slick roadways so be careful as you're traveling late tonight and then early tomorrow. So through the afternoon, 32 to 36, snow picks up through the afternoon. The heaviest will come our way later in the afternoon, maybe about one to three inches of accumulation by the afternoon today uh, with a northeast wind, 10 to 20, uh, some wind gusts around 25 miles per hour. Tonight, heavy widespread snow will continue overnight. It turns lake effect later tonight going into, um, uh, going into early tomorrow morning. Sleet and freezing rain the farther south and east you go, four to eight inches of accumulation likely. Lower totals where you see that sleet and freezing rain, 20 to 25 northeast wind 15 to 25 look at the wind gusts around 30 miles an hour so that could cause some limited blowing snow at times up on the seven day 25 degrees tomorrow that should break the record for the record low maximum high temperature uh, which is 31 degrees. We're only going to do 25. Look at the low on Wednesday morning, 14, and Thursday morning, 17. Again, both of those days, wind chill numbers could be into the single digits both days. 33 Thursday, leftover uh, snow showers. 34 Friday, partly sunny. 45 on Sunday, that's a little better, but still below average, but that'll feel like a heat wave uh, compared to what we have coming throughout the next 24 hours.